If you're like me, there are many nostalgic things that take me back to my youth. Ah, nostalgia. Tom Sutton, username Yakis on Thingiverse, created this 3D model of Metroid's Samus in Metroid ball form. It has room inside for lights. I've enhanced mine with a computer, Neo Pixel LEDs, and a tiny computer. I think you'll agree it makes for one engaging prop. I'll show you how to make one in this video. Blast that subscribe button and let's do it. For this project, we're going to need these things. 3D printed model parts. I use this incredible copper silk PLA, about 128 grams, 3 grams of grave PLA, and transparent PETG, 74 grams. For the computer, I went with the Trinket M0 5V from Adafruit. This little guy is more than powerful enough for this project and is the perfect size to fit inside the ball. We also need 6 NeoPixels. These come assembled on a PCB, making it easier to solder them into a flexible chain to go inside the Morph Ball. Now to open up more possibilities, I added a vibration sensor. This is the medium sensitivity sensor from Adafruit. For power, I'm going with a 150 milliamp hour battery, which provides a charge of at least 45 minutes. To make it easy to switch on and off the power, I used the switched JST breakout board. To keep the two halves of the ball together, we need six 8mm rare earth magnets. And this mini breadboard is a nice size to fit in the small space we have in the ball. You can find links to these parts in the description. And lastly, we need some code for the computer. I have a good starter program that you can use as it is or modify for your own new modes. So let's get these printed up. Huh, that sure makes it look quick and easy, doesn't it? Depending on how tall your magnets are, you may need to file them down so you have the smallest gap possible between the two halves of the ball. I found that no glue was needed to secure the rare earth magnets. To help ensure the two halves always connect with the correct rotation, I put one of them in a different polarity than the other two. Carefully ensure that you have this figured out though, or it'll be bad. Let's solder these NeoPixels into a single chain. We're going to need several lengths of wire. I'm using stranded wire. If you're not familiar with how awesome these things are, RGB means red, green, and blue lights in them can be set to one of 256 color values, making any color in the spectrum. They're also addressable, which means you can set the first one to a different color than the next one. And lastly, these NeoPixels have a constant current driver chip built right into them. This avoids problems where the brightness of LEDs vary due to lower voltage or current across the chain. Now let's put it all together. I have tried super glue, E6000, two-part epoxy, and in the end I found a simple crafting glue gun is quick and easy. The other glues just have too much working time. We need to be able to quickly attach each part because there is tension in the wire that pulls the LED away from the surface. I actually use double-sided sticky pads and then come back around with the glue gun to secure them better. We want to make sure that the LEDs are aimed straight out to see the most light on the outside. And let's go ahead and dremel off those tabs on the mini breadboard. The vibration sensor will need to be bent around to fit inside. I solder the leads to two extra long male headers. I also use a very small piece of heat shrink insulation to help keep the leads from touching each other. Now snap the gray core grill pieces in place on the translucent inner sphere halves. And now let's glue the outside sphere pieces in place. I make sure I have two mirrored pieces and do a fit test. Then I glue with the hot glue gun as shown. When I do the second piece, I make sure it is in alignment with the first one while the glue is cooling, since there is a little bit of wiggle room. And 
And now let's plug it all in and see if it works. Of course it does. So with our vibration sensor, we can just tap it to change modes. And now you have one outstanding cosplay prop. Piece of deskage, conversation starter, party trick, you name it, it's yours. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with people you think might enjoy it too. Thanks for watching.